Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I went to the Cartier store. I know that Valentine's Day is coming up and a lot of you are looking into Cartier pieces for Valentine's Day, but you may be confused about which ones or which one you would like to purchase. So hopefully this video will help you to make that decision. We're going to compare the love bracelet, which I have in the regular size, to the thinner love bracelet, which is small. Also, we're going to compare the Justin Clue, to, um, both the bigger size and the thinner size. And we're going to look at a watch, a Panther watch, so beautiful. So guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jody. My channel is all about luxury, fine jewelry, and my sister lock journey. If that kind of thing interests you, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up if you are enjoying this one. If you are interested in the, um, I guess the regular sized love bracelet, you can go watch two other videos that I have created. One of them is my one year update. So I've had mine for exactly a year. It is now February of 2022. So I, it was my Valentine's Day gift last year. So I did a one year update. I'm telling you all about how well it has worn, what my thoughts are at this point and so on. And then also I have another video where I gave you full details on the love bracelet and uh, the size in, what I like about it, the history of the bracelet, how you put it on, the presentation that it comes in when you purchase it, what the box looks like, all of that. So you can check out those two videos. So right now, let's dive into what I discovered today. All right, guys, I had to put on my sunglasses. It got really sunny out here. These are the Christian Dior ones that I unboxed with you. They are the Montaigne 30. I really, really love them. So let's talk about what I discovered today at the Cartier stores. So in terms of design, my favorite Cartier um, bracelet is actually the Justin Clue. And I like the thicker size that it comes in. Now, the reason for that is I have built a bracelet stack. This is not all of it. There's two of them missing, but this is what I chose to wear today. And when I put on the thin Justin Clue and also the thinner Cartier, what happened, the thinner Cartier love bracelet, what happened was that they got lost in my stack. They looked very sad, very miserable, very lonely. And the rest of the stack was literally outshining those two because of the stack that I have. Now, depending on what your goals are or what pieces you already have, that might not be the case for you. Also, even if I were going to wear those pieces on their own or with not such a big stack, I think I still would prefer the larger one for me personally. I like a bit more statement when it comes to my jewelry. And also, I have larger hands. I am not a dainty, um, handed person. I have long fingers. You know, I do wear a smaller size in the bracelets. My Cartier Love bracelet is a size 17. But still, I personally think that I look better in the thicker ones. So let me just show you some pictures and videos of the things that I tried on to help you to make a decision. So you'll see how the thinner Cartier bracelet looked next to this larger one that I have. Um, it is just about half of the size. What I did like about the thinner love bracelet is that it can be put on independently. So that means it has a little hinge on one side. You open it up, you can put it on, clasp it, you're done. And it does look very dainty. It is very cute. It's just not my personal preference. Also, the Justin Clue, you can put those on independently as well. It takes a little bit of maneuvering, but you will get used to it and it will be easy for you to put it on over time. I actually learned how to do it today. Absolutely loved them. So in terms of design, it's kind of up to you what your personal preference is. But I think if I did not yet have a Cartier Love bracelet, my first choice would have been the Justin Clue. But at the time of purchase, I just was not that knowledgeable on the Justin Clue as yet. And so I kind of went for the obvious, which is the Love bracelet. Baby, this is what I'll do, I'll do. Why? 
tell me I just wanna be your bride Wanna be I wanna give our love now both pieces are amazing they were both designed by the renowned designer um aldo Chapello. he first worked for tiffany he was commissioned by the royal family to make jewelry and then he really made history with cartier with the designs he did because both the justin clue and the love bracelet are, are two of the most known and most renowned pieces of jewelry in the entire world so he did a great job with both they all come in rose gold or in white gold or in yellow gold. For my preference, I love Cartier yellow gold. It is very bright. It is very shiny. I don't love the rose gold as much. Um, and also the rose gold is not as pink. So even when you're looking at the pictures on the website, do know they're not as rosy in person when you see them. And you don't want it to be because the more rosy it is, the less gold there is in the metal and you don't want that to happen. The next thing to note is that you can get your Cartier Love Bracelet and your Justin Clue with diamonds or without. My personal preference, I love the Cartier Love Bracelet without the diamonds and with. There's no preference for me there. I think it is gorgeous both ways. The only thing with the one without diamonds is and you can watch my other video where I talked about the one year update, you have to keep it clean. Mine is not clean right now. The store is not offering any cleaning services right now due to COVID. I did order a polishing cloth and I will get it all nice and shiny tomorrow. And you'll see how it turns out in that one year update video. But you do have to keep it clean or it's going to look a little bit dull sometimes. Um, when you have diamonds like I do on my Roberto coin, it is less obvious when the jewelry is dirty or when you get scratches on it and so forth. As far as the Justin Clue goes, I think it looks a little bit dull without the, without the diamonds on it. Now, depending on how you're making your stack and so on, you may be able to pull it off. But as a bracelet sitting on your wrist by itself without the diamonds, I feel like it's missing something. Now with the diamonds, it is a showstopper. It is so gorgeous. Guys, I know I said I was done. <laughs> I know I said I was done, right? Because I feel really happy and comfortable with where my, um, where my jewelry collection is right now. However, when I started curating my jewelry collection, I had a Justin Clue on it in white gold. I'm happy I went in person today to see them because I prefer the yellow gold now that I have seen it. And the reason I wanted white gold was to break up my stack a little bit. But even though the yellow gold is the same color scheme as everything else I have, yellow gold with diamonds, it still stood out. It still held its ground. It looked so beautiful on my wrist. And both me and my essay thought it was such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And it, it just looks good in the stack. So I've changed my mind to yellow gold. So let's take a look at the watches, by the way. I love all of the Panther watches. A lot of them are priced really well, even lower than some of the bracelets. So that is another option for you. If you just want something from Cartier and you don't want to jump all the way to a $7,000 bracelet, you can most definitely add a watch to your collection. So I love the Panther watch, the smaller size in, um, it's in steel with diamonds. And the reason I like the smaller one, you'll see how it looked on my wrist. When I put it with my Tiffany knot bracelet, it was very pretty. I feel the larger one was going to get a little bit too crowded. And so I think the two were a very good complement for each other on my right hand. So I absolutely love that size. But the bigger one is also very pretty. And I absolutely love it with the diamonds. Based on the stack that I have and with the bracelet I want to wear it with, I want to wear it on my right hand with this bracelet. I feel the one with the diamonds was more complimentary to it. And that is why I prefer that one. So love you, I will love you like a queen. So I forgot to tell you guys about my experience at the Cartier store today. So I had a good experience finally. So previously, 
we had an essay who neither me or my husband enjoyed very much he just was not very welcoming wasn't very friendly didn't follow up at all we just didn't feel very appreciated and i'm just saying it doesn't matter what you buy from a place because we buy a lot of things from other luxury stores and even ones that are not jewelry stores and we're just received better we're welcomed you guys know how it is when you shop for luxury there's just a certain way that they usually make you feel and that is part of why we spend money on luxury is to get that additional customer service well with this particular essay we were not getting that at all and now i remember why i deleted the justin clue and the panther off of my list it was driving me crazy as to why i took them off i knew i was trying to narrow things down but actually i did not want to have to keep working with that essay or spending more money with that essay because we just didn't like him and so i went on the online portal and made a new appointment with someone new and i got a lady this time and she was absolutely amazing and what i expect an essay to be and so i look forward to now having and relate uh having a relationship with her so i'm looking forward to that i also watched um black and gold style you guys can check out her video she has lots of information on cartier as well but i think she's located in seoul but when i went into the comment section of her videos a lot of people were also saying that they're not getting a very good experience when they shop at cartier so let me guys know what you think but thank you guys for watching this video anything you get from cartier will be wonderful you will enjoy for many years actually the justin clue was um designed in 1971 and the love bracelet was designed in 1969 and here we are in 2022 still excited about them and i don't think that excitement is going anywhere soon stay tuned for more updates on jewelry subscribe for more and stay in the loop let me know what you get for valentine's day or just for whatever holiday your birthday anniversary whatever it is see you guys in another video Thank you.